Chef Ivan Flowers, coming from beautiful San Diego. I'm going to show you how to cook pollock. Now pollock, cod, um, you know, tender, sweet, white, a lot of times for fish and chips. I'm going to show you a different way. We're going to put a spin on it. We've got beautiful pollock here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a little salt and pepper. You want to make sure you do both sides, always. My pan is getting hot. I'm going to take a little butter. Probably about, I'd say, a tablespoon. I'm going to let it start to work in that pan. Raise my heat up a little bit. I want to melt that butter. Now what I'm going to do is I took some crab meat. You can take any crab meat you want, Dungeness, peaky toe, lump, with a little bit of mayonnaise and some herbs. And I just mixed it together. I'm going to take that crab meat. I'm going to press it down a little bit. I'm going to go on top of the pollock. I'm going to do a second piece as well. My butter's starting to melt. I'm going to go a little what they call burn noir, a little brown on the butter. And then I'm going to take panko breadcrumbs, Japanese breadcrumbs. You can use any kind you want. These are good. They're light. They are not seasoned. And I'm going to go right on the butter with the panko. I am then going to press the fish. So we turned off the heat. Now we go and we check. We see our pollock. It's got a beautiful persiard on it. We're going to go into a 350 degree oven for about six minutes. So there you have it. A simple way to pan, sear, and then finish pollock. We did a blue crab persiard with the panko breadcrumbs and finish with some roasted peppers and a touch of citrus orange to make it work. Mm -hmm.